And we're live with Gareth Simpson from Seeker Digital. Hi, Gareth. Hi, Christoph. How are you? Oh, good, thanks. What about yourself? Yeah, doing well, thanks. Doing good. All right. So welcome to the LOT Site Clinic, the link building LOT Site Clinic. If you don't know the format, this is a simple uh, quick check on websites that we got submitted from clients, from leads, from interested people. This is by no means a full audit. So don't take, you know, 15 or 20 minutes as the final result. Usually an audit takes days or weeks, depending on your site, depending on the detail, depending on, you know, the issues that you find. On the other hand, what we try to do is give you a third or fourth person view on, on an outsider view on a website and we spot low hanging fruits. They might seem obvious to some, but not to everyone, especially owners usually have a little bit of a, of a tunnel vision. I know that from myself. So, and the first site that we see here is from, uh, sorry, this is what we want. No. Oh, here we go. That's better, yeah. <laughs> Gra grab on in, save on everything, a deal site in India, as it looks like. Featured store of the month, uh, coupons and offers. Looks like a, a coupon site or, a, or a, um, an e-commerce site. Let's see if we have some, some statements here. They're fighting for the top money keywords with small players. Every time some of the other players will come up. We want to sustain our position with good work. We want to improve our presence in gift cards. The gift cards field, where are gift cards? Did you see gift cards? Um, okay. Deals are, ah, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Gift cards in the gift cards field. And there are periods for which we rank top for all the keywords, but that is not sustainable. Well, what, what do you know about the coupon space and, uh, you know, sites like that, Gareth? Well, it's funny, actually, I used to work in house, uh, leading the SEO team at a voucher coach website in the UK. So. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I know a thing or two. So this should be an interesting one. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I see a lot of SEO, a lot of also gray and black hat SEOs. Also, hacking is taking place. So some of your competitors may be gaining a, a short-term advantage, but just using really um, unethical methods that are also short-lived. But on the other hand, if you can make a lot of money in a short time, that's what a lot of spammers do. And, uh, I hear that you try to do it the right way. So I would say, let's take a look at that uh, profile. Um, the site was submitted, by the way, uh, by the client Ashok here uh, many months ago here in, in July. And this is what we see. You know, Over time, the risk went down already a couple of times with disavows. And we see that there are some malware links, negative SEO patterns are here again. Toxic links, 6,600 toxic links. Uh, and a lot of these automated um, issues where we um, combine well-known patterns into easily digestible uh, rules that um, explain what's going on, like the virus links. You can fix that with one click because nobody wants virus or malware links, as an example. And we see that the risk overall went down which is good, but you're still scratching the thousand. Here we got uh, uh, 1,190 at the moment. So it went up just uh, uh, last week or so, and that's not good. Everything above a thousand means a penalty, uh, at least uh, a partial penalty or a filter. So um, the word penalty is, is, is well known from Google penalties in 2012 and onwards for Penguin penalties, where you had a total loss of traffic. Luckily, this is not the case here. But um, since 2016, different categories, different uh, keywords, and this is what you wrote, um, certain areas of the website may be suffering. So when we dive deeper, we will see maybe some keywords that are um, especially risky and are maybe also spammed. Um, best negative SEO, so to say, the, the, the most effective negative SEO would be to spam the keywords that you're after with, um, in general, too strong links. You know, the spam links on really poor pages, they are not the problem. Um, but let's take a look. Um, we look at the anchor text breakdown here by detox risk. That means um, we see some, some very big anchors here. And the biggest risk actually comes from the dots. This is a common uh, scraper spam footprint that you can disavow without a thought. Blog, download image are not 
really the keywords that you're trying to rank for, but you got a lot of links and a lot of risky links. So I would, you know, for instance, the dot here, these are contains a dot. No, we want equals a dot. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, this is 31,000 links have a dot in it. And uh, actually, equals dot. Yeah, it's only 5,394 links that have only a dot in the anchor text. And we have a lot of them disavowed already, but not all. When we click here on the not disavowed, still 1,200 links that you have that have this spam pattern. Probably those were just acquired. You earned them or someone donated them to you since the last audit. And I recommend to just disavow them in bulk. You don't need them. You don't want them. And the risk that we see here um, is just beyond thousands, beyond 2,000. Yeah. So that is certainly a space where we recommend an ongoing link risk management, an ongoing audit, because as we saw, some of those dot anchor spam links were disavowed already and others were not. It's quite prolific in this space as well, all those scraper sites, isn't it? So, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's probably the same logic, the same code just spun out onto different domains. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah exactly. In these high performing affiliate niches, it's, it's important to. Yeah, just do a little bit of housekeeping on a regular basis. Of course, Google uh, uh, may or may not pick a lot of it up themselves, but uh, you mm -hmm. don't want to take that risk. You want to make sure you're eliminating, uh, yeah, adding them to your disavow file and showing that you're uh, maintaining your website because Google says it's your responsibility to look after yeah. your disavow file, right? Yeah, but uh, the, uh, you know, Gareth, there's also people who say, uh, I don't need to take care of my bad links because Google is going to do that all for me. Did mm. you hear that? Yeah, I do. I hear this, I hear this quite a lot. But um, sometimes, you know, Google is obviously a great platform with very advanced technology, but mm -hmm. um, computers can be stupid and they can yeah. make mistakes and they can sometimes not pick up on a, on a few um, footprints. And yeah. Um, I, I, we regularly do this, do this work for, especially in these niches, affiliates and things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Because why, why wouldn't you? Why would you take the risk? Google gives you that disavow file there. Uh, right, right. So, yeah. Oh, and th did you notice they just recently just relaunched the disavow tool into the new Google Search Console? So they brought that to the new platform in, in what used to be Google Webmaster Tools and the old Google Search yeah, Console. Yeah. The new the, the, the disavow tool is now also in the new, in the new search console. So they don't have any plans to to turn that off or make it obsolete. And um, at this point, I always say, you know, you can trust in Google feeding you. You can trust in Google solving your problems. But uh, whenever people did that in the past, and and that goes back. Uh, 15 years to the Florida updates. I remember people screaming and, and in tears about, you know, their lost business when Google just slapped them with penalties. Um, same with Penguin penalties. Google's job is not to guarantee your income. It's not their job to, to take care of your website. And uh, while they, they do a great job, you know, John Miller, for example, uh, helping webmasters to improve their websites. A lot of people uh, miss misunderstand that in a way that whatever they say uh, guarantees them success and, and that's just not the case yeah? mm. so i i'm totally uh with those people that say you know this is such an obvious spam it should be solved by google google should know it yeah of course they should because they're google but um there's no guarantee and there's certainly no guarantee that they will continue to keep up um because that's what we do uh, full time trying to keep up with all these patterns. So when we look at these uh, really toxic ones, look at that. There is even one undisavowed link, a link that was disavowed and is undisavowed again. Oh. I'm trying, I'm trying to understand why, because that's a okay. That's some. What it's is a mistake, it? surely, because all the others are the same. Same. Yeah. Type. Right. Right. Yeah. What does this mean? You know, sole unlimited business trip. Okay, so what I'm using here is a simple free uh, uh, extension for Chrome, the Google Translator. Super helpful. Um, 
I have no idea what that is about and why they undis about some of them, but it looks like you don't want them. So when we look at this complex filter here, we can look at that in the Blink profile as well. And from that, 88% of those are really high risk. So even if we say, uh, let's take a look at the, the, the lower risk ones, these 88%, when I click on that, the filter gets expanded here and I have them listed here. Um, this is just spam. These are 5,300 pages I would just disavow in bulk. Yeah. And we didn't even get started because we didn't talk about link building, right? This is just a brief starter into the link audit of the site. Um, what do you say, Gareth? What, where would you build links and, and, and where would you build them to? Because here is a, an offer for, a, a, what is that, a thousand rand? No, runs? Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce the Indian currency. I'm sorry. Thousand RS off on a flight? Yeah. Okay. So wh where would you build links to here? Okay. So my thoughts are when um, when taken on a site like this, obviously we want to we want to build a, a nurturer, a natural looking backlink profile, not even a natural looking, a natural link, uh, backlink profile. Of course, mm -hmm. typically websites are going to have majority of the links go into the home page or at least the uh, majority share so mm -hmm. um, and then obviously that helps to filter that internal link authority to pass through those internal links around the site so I'd like to build a good baseline there of um, depending on what what else is in the SERPs of course but it might be 30 50 percent or probably at first it was a brand new site which this isn't because it does have a lot of referring domains already mm -hmm. it gets mm -hmm. uh, um, a really impressive amount of traffic and um, uh, yeah, so make sure the home page is covered and then work work through the other most important pages. So um, your categories are also going to uh, help in the closer that that link authority is coming in to your ranking, your landing pages, the less hops it is away from uh, from that actual page and the more of that, uh, power is going to pass through to to the ranking page, right? So, mm -hmm. um, ideally, you want the you know the best course of action is going to be links direct to the to the landing page that you're you're trying to rank. Not always possible with every types of link, but that still to me is the most effective, uh, and I'm sure like it's wi widely held opinion is, is the most effective um, target link target. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so that's what I do is make sure that the, the uh, start with that pyramid, make sure the home page is covered, the categories, and then uh, get more targeted into your uh, into your product pages and uh, and then into that subfolder structure, your silo pages. So this florist express, I know these are uh, flight coupons, for example, yeah, taking mm -hmm. this category. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to take the content marketing route, you might have subfolders for some creative content on here, some assets about um flights uh data statistics and um, pr campaign type uh type content excuse me <coughs> and um make sure uh that you're linking up through that url chain back from the from the from the links from the pages that are getting the links up to to the pages that you're looking to uh to rank with uh, with some targeted um anchor text or descriptive anchor text mm -hmm. um should i say so I don't know if that's helpful, but uh, that, that's the approach I would take for, for a voucher code site like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm clicking around here, uh, meanwhile, trying to find um, something that is not a list of deals. Like every page I, I click through, I just have a, dozens of yeah. deals. Yeah. Seem to be very short lived, but I'm, I don't see it. I don't see a blog, but here uh, in the target pages, so I looked at the target pages here and in LRT, there's 12,225 12, pages that got links. So for example, this one here is the top link, uh, 288,000 links mm -hmm. going to a four or 10 gun page. So maybe maybe that was a way to, to clean up the links to, to, to make them not work because yeah. when we look at that, that's an exceptional amount of links, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. 
look, let's look at the the source tilde is com us, the anchor text. Those are twenty three thousand. What? By count? I oh, know one anchor text. Sorry, the, uh, the, the the navigation didn't update. So they're all linking with grab on from only three domains. So th those are some side wide links, obviously from some order venue, some affiliate really cool. So the the one here is order venue. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure if if I would have disavowed them because they are at least you know a low risk. There are no follow links anyways. Mm. The other one would, would be this, the second top linked page is this one here. And this is a coupon page, 30, uh, 53 coupons. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And the, this one here obviously changes a lot. Um, um, do we have some more target? I'm missing the content. I'm missing that creative content that you mentioned. Grab on block powered by yeah. grab on. When we take on clients, we're always um sometimes well, a lot of the time clients are looking for they come to us for links uh, for outreach yeah. uh, for digital pr work uh, mm -hmm. etc and we take a look at the site and we we kind of have to take a step backwards and say to say to the client i think we need to do some on-site work um first yeah. and yeah. make sure we've got things to actually link to uh, mm -hmm. because you know we're our pricing models pay on performance so uh, we we need a good page to link to to be able mm -hmm. to actually you know mm -hmm. generate revenue or you know we actually have to land the link so yeah. um, and it's obviously in the best interest of uh, of, of the client as well so yeah um, yeah so always start with uh, with a quick audit and make sure the site is link worthy and outreachable and mm -hmm. um, uh, which. You know, this is you know really really established site that's, that's clearly very successful with with the amount of traffic that's that it's getting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, maybe that would be a good opportunity to step out into more creative content and mm -hmm. uh, content marketing work. We, yeah, we've got a blog here, but it's on a subdomain, right? It's a subdomain. Yeah, I found this one only uh, looking at where links are going to, and here I couldn't find it in the navigation stores stores oh these are just the stores categories view all category no indulge ah oh ah indulge. Yeah, ah. A blog here is a blog as well uh but what's the grab on blog then here's a grab on blog seven best condoms in india what's the um what's the post last post dates i wonder if if it's been moved and this one they is forgot the, about this one here yeah look at the condoms from india uh december 2. so so That's they're both related then well yeah. i guess uh, if they're producing that much content maybe they need two blogs <laughs> <laughs> interesting um, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah potentially moving consolidating all of this into one uh one root domain might be a good uh, a good strategy and quite an yeah. easy fix, really, isn't it? Um, in the grand yeah. scheme of things, there's a, there is a lot of content on here. Um, so, oh, look at that! Yeah, all the pregnancy test kits. Yeah, and uh, uh, these are obviously some brands. Are these some brands? Are you chick party or festive? I'm not sure how these coupons play together with the topic here, but I would expect uh, some coupons for uh, for pregnancy test kit, MedLife coupons. Ah, you can check out some of the top MedLife coupons. Click on um, the internal link in there. Yeah, th th so yeah. that's good. But um, then I don't understand what these coupon links are for. Amazon coupon. Yeah, okay, you can buy everything on Amazon, so that's always good. Maybe these others are also retailers. So let's. I would at least you know question you know are these the right coupons to 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 present here for this topic? But we see we got a December two. Here is a a, a condom post a post about seven condoms on the subdomain. And here's another post on indulge slash health for the same brand. Um, that doesn't make sense. You know, look at that. Blog.grabonin has some links to uh, categories of the blog. So here's 
gadgets, travel, that um, I don't understand. And I agree, um, I would just combine them. I mean, not just from the SEO purpose, but uh, a user. user. Well, yeah. And uh, yeah. I think people overlook the importance, how much reliance Google places on that uh, information architecture, uh, like the, the backbone of the website, how the categories and the pages are organized, the internal links, breadcrumbs. Yeah. Uh, we've got a client at the moment who hasn't got breadcrumbs uh, on their oh. site and uh, mm -hmm. it's causing a lot of cannibalization problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Mm. Uh, maybe they try to rank, you know, if this is some purpose, then they try to rank for content with the blog subdomain and with the dub, dub, dub subdomain. So Google ranks Two similar results, yeah. different subdomains. But uh, yeah. You're still wasting your, you know, all the ranking power. The link choose is, is being split up between the two domains, anyway. So, uh, I would, you know, not for a for a reputable site like this one. Uh, if this is intentional, yeah, I, I could imagine someone is doing that. Um, yeah, the reason why I think it's not intentional is so. Here's the five best Android phones under six thousand five hundred. And when you click on Home. This is really small. Home. You end up on the home of the blog, mm. not the home of the coupon site. So what is the user's expectation? When you end up here for the first time, you just think, oh, this is just a blog with lots of articles. You don't even realize that this is a site where you can search for your deals. And that, um, so we're actually looking at three different websites. Mm -hmm. the, deal side the blog here on indulge and the blog yeah. that grab on it i've just ah. had a look and the, the subdomain blog does actually get a significant amount of traffic as well so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's interesting and, and like you say moving over there could be you know migrating it you might lose some double listings but yeah. uh, that's probably not um yeah uh that's probably worth the uh, worth the loss of moving everything over and having everything yeah yeah look and, and it yeah. just looks different when you look at the three different tabs yeah. at least yeah. two different logos and you may lose some double listings but other listings win yeah in general yeah. get stronger yeah. and this is what you want um let's look at uh some of the links that go to the you know we can we can add a filter here and say the target URL contains blog dot uh, grab on. Should be enough. And now we look at all the domains linking to the blog dot mm -hmm. grab on. Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> Reddit scoop just happened. There are some strong domains here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense to me to 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 split that up not at all target pages and it seems to be i'm just having a look at the rankings what what it ranks for and um yeah lots of comparison style content best best perfumes for women in india that sort of thing so mm -hmm. uh there's like yeah clearly a editorial strategy going on here which mm -hmm. does seem to be working some good yes yeah, yeah. good rankings <clears throat> but yeah, I would also combine it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A reason to split that up uh, is sometimes also technical that you have a separate host. Let's say this is from web host A and, and the other side runs on web host B. That's easy to do via a DNS. You know, in the DNS, you can point to this domain and to, yeah. that, uh, to this server and to that server via the IP address, like really cheap. But if you use a reverse proxy like Nginx, um, you can do the same in subfolders. You just need a, a sysadmin, a DevOps that knows what he's doing, and then you can set that up yourself. And I'm guessing a site like that is, is run on an own dedicated server, not some uh, WP engine or, uh, or yeah. some other blog poster. Yeah, yeah okay. so it's possibly that possible that the blog is on WordPress, the subdomain blog, and the main site, I imagine, is a different CMS mm -hmm. of some mm -hmm. sort. So, yeah, but those are just technical reasons to of yeah. why it is 
as it is right now and i would not shy away from using a reverse proxy to to merge them together and what i'm looking at here is this article here what what the best bet what these are all all the best hotels i'm at number 35 already ah here we go go to see da, 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 da. all right two comments listen if i scroll down all the way and i looked at um 35 of these best hotels why don't you give me a coupon code here or why don't you send me to another place where i can convert i mean okay you see some people still write blog comments but who really cares you you have a list of sites a list of, of, of products uh, hotels in this case and then people are probably interested to learn more about these hotels so here's the horn okay please bandra or the namaste mumbai backpackers hotel and um what am i supposed to do here um yeah I cool i cannot even uh, click through uh, yeah. so there's lots of opportunity here for enmeshing the commercial elements and the editorial right so yeah, yeah. Uh, a, a tactic we're using in e-commerce and we'll also apply here in um in the, in the voucher codes uh, niches is product curation right so writing a, as we've got here best backpacker hostels mm -hmm. um, so you've gone to, gone to the trouble of cherry picking out and doing research for the best uh, hostels now uh, like you say if you have some ux elements in here that show how to actually um you know link off to how to book one of these hostels or where to get a code or or maybe yeah. get your flight vouchers and things like that so um looking for those opportunities to target users at the top of the funnel when they're just doing research and mm -hmm. you might be able to fast track them through to a conversion of some sort so yeah um and moving over to the main domain would probably allow that to happen much more yeah yeah exactly uh, it's done here, for example, uh, Sostel is being linked just with the keyword Sostel, uh, going to Sostel promo code, Sostel coupons. And mm -hmm. it's kind of hidden in the text here. And, you know, when I click here on Sostel, uh, I usually don't want to see coupons. I want to know, you know, what's the hotel. So yeah. um, you may, may I, I would suggest to have a page, uh, Sostel, so I don't have to Google it. Sostel.com, largest branded hotel chain in Nepal and India. Okay, so here is a huge chain, and uh, I understand why you don't want to send the traffic all the way there because they have a book now. But you could have a page. Hey, we're back. Gareth, where are you? Hey, not sure what happened there. I, um, just out. I believe with all the windows open here, it happened to me before. I closed it one window where StreamYard is running. And oh, I see. The whole software to transmit this is also running in a browser window. And there's no protection. You know, you can protect it with a browser back. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. So let me share my screen again. What was the last thing you heard, Gareth? Um, you were running through the um, through the blog content, and we were looking at conversion opportunities. Mm -hmm. so, oh yeah, I was just about to say actually. Um, so some CRO work could be. I know we're we're here primarily looking at links, but um, some CRO work on this site could be really helpful in looking for those strategic opportunities to. Um, uh, 
yeah, to insert new UX elements, to create a content structure and a template that's um, helpful. That well, yeah, that helps to yeah get get them into that conversion funnel. And uh, like you say, these these little inser inserted links and things are was that an affiliate link or was it just a direct link through to the brand or is it to the landing page? The brand. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, it goes to the coupons. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So imagine pulling through those coupons onto the actual page and say, here is our best coupon for Zostel. And you actually just have one simple claim a free night or get 50% off. So you so you sell in the brand, sell in the offer, and then you say, and you can also get 50% off with um, uh, with this voucher code. And actually, why make, why make them go through that extra step? Just put the get deal button on that actual blog post, right? Right, right, exactly. Uh, I mean, maybe this is just a bad example, but the soft promo code, why do I have six coupon codes here? But this one being the best price, this one being the best price, this one being the best price. What is, what is the best price then, really? And, and, and this one here is verified, so it's, it works as well, and this one does not work. So I'm a little bit confused on what to use, to be honest. Um, mm. The soft quality will be coming soon, shortly. Um, I can volunteer and have a, a deal. User. Um, yeah, this one I don't understand. Uh, I would say they set a cookie, but I don't see a cookie being set. So this, uh, this is confusing me. So um, I would consider maybe showing less coupons, but the coupons that matter. Because after all, people want one best deal, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, but look, all these pages here on the blog, subdomain, tons of content, and that one uh, brings in all the traffic. So I think the strategy is really smart here to 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 do the content marketing, to have links to the content, and then to, to funnel from that content to the commercial offer. So that's all. I would just say, you know, maybe merging them together is. Um, the best solution here that, that I would suggest. Yeah. Mm. Do you have some more comments on this side, or should we jump to the next one, Gareth? Um. Thirty minutes already. Wow. Well, wow. so I guess final thoughts on uh, on on this site on Gravel and having worked for a voucher codes website, I think. Uh, yeah, get those get those direct links through to the product, the, pa the pages that you're trying to rank. And obviously, you know, as, as we know, page authority is page based, not domain based. The web is made up of a collection of web pages, not of, of domains. Of course, it's a collection of domains, but they're a container for pages. So um, yeah, I would focus on that, focus on the internal linking uh, structure. I can see the site has some really strong homepage um, backlinks, which um, could potentially be a bit on the nose, but um, at the same time, I think they're, they are working really well. Obviously it's an aggressive niche and um, the rules, the rules for these, the algorithmic rules for these niches are, um, are going to be different to, to many other yeah. Uh, yeah. softer niches in terms of link building, I would say. So, um, yeah, uh, get in get in and amongst the forums. Drop drop um, drop links to the to the voucher code pages in there. When people like, if you set up some media monitoring uh, using Buzz Bundle or um, uh, mentioned uh, platforms like that uh, that create the forums, you can actually look for opportunities to drop links into forum posts. And uh, obviously, you want to do it in the right way, um, and it needs to be led in with some good content it actually needs to be helpful to the forum post but to, to, right. to the forum users but um yeah people are often posting these voucher codes on forums and uh, you know on, on places like that so that's always yeah. been a good, uh, traffic source uh, mm -hmm. or, or a link source mm -hmm. uh, and uh, run run big voucher sorry run big pr campaigns uh, for brands like these with big visual assets that are completely separate to the look and the feel of the website because it is um 
it's quite commercial and i've seen that done really well with a few brands in the uk such as voucher cloud uh, check out vouchercloud.com and uh who are based in my city actually and vouchercodes.co.uk so they run some really good content marketing campaigns and uh, I, would, I would look to those for, uh, for mm -hmm. some inspiration and do some competitive research on, on what they're doing and just yeah. learn from them even if you're not direct competitor because obviously these coupons are, are more targeted to india which uh I think it's a perfect situation. You find something that works in another country, yeah, um, and, and and can apply that to your country. Exactly. Yeah, but overall, congratulations. Uh, there's a lot of things done right, and I guess uh, um, with that knowledge that the vertical is a very spammy one, a black hat vertical where a lot of affiliates just spam and jam, crash and burn. You will always have flag fluctuations. You now, a crash and burn side is. It's, it's maybe overtaking you for the short term, uh, but that's it. And so that plays a role in, in this vertical, but also others in the finance space, dating, um, yeah, software, games, they all are very competitive. So mm -hmm. congratulations on what you have already. All right, so then let's uh, look at the next site. That was the, wait, let's stop the impersonation here. And the next site here is um, the reports, classic, smart. Let me see. They're also from India, wasn't it? Wasn't it? There was a the. Uh, what's the what's the domain? Uh, the outsourcing from. Oh India. yes, uh, outsource to India dot com with a number mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see it, right? Yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. And again, it's got some uh, healthy amount of traffic. Mm -hmm. Impressive. I think, uh, yeah, estimated 16K, but I'm, I imagine it's a lot more mm -hmm. uh, than that. Obviously, I can't 16K uh, rankings or, or 16K uh, keywords? Uh, organic traffic. From mm -hmm. the mostly from the well, a split between US, India, a small amount in the UK. So that's a uh, 16k uh, visitors, yes, visitors, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these estimations are usually, you know, just that, an estimation. Uh, and uh, just yesterday in the German Psych Clinic, we had uh, Google Analytics. So um, if you hand in your website for audit and you want to share your Google Analytics, that's, of course, even more helpful because that's where you have accurate data where we can look at drops and, and increases and map them to, for example, the, the drops that we saw in the detox risk going down, down, down. Well, maybe if we had the Google Analytics for the previous site, we would see some improvements in Google Analytics there a lot better and, and easier than maybe with some estimations. But for competitive research, I I, I think um, estimations are, are wonderful. Where, what estimation was that? Was it Ahrefs or, or SEMrush? Um, Ahrefs. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So uh, outsource to India, 2000 detox risk means you are um, way beyond what you should be maximum a thousand and what we see here is some some virus links that nobody wants that you can disavow in it with one click almost three thousand links from the globe a typical spam pattern that is so popular that everyone has it that we have a button just for this specific spam footprint and you can argue that maybe google also has some patterns for the globe but from 3,000 links, if 3,000 links are, are, are known to us, maybe Google found 1,500 or maybe they found 4,000. We don't know. Um, mm -hmm. Better be safe than sorry in your disavow and your cleanup work. So here we got a negative SEO pattern. Uh, I would fix that. You know, we can disavow 7,000 links without worries because LRT Smart has some rules in there that looks at the disavow links in comparison to the other links. And when you disavow 7,027 links, after a couple of minutes, we may see a notice, hey, here are five links that you may want to consider again. 
because if you take out all the spam then maybe five of those are actually okay or acceptable so it's always about the ratios in in in, in risk and and link evaluation so this is something that i always say at this point because sometimes people just you know wonder how we can disavow as fast as we do here and as always before you upload a disavow file spend some time in here spend way more time than we do now just looking at the links looking at the anchor text breakdown of disavowed links looking at the link profile of disavowed links you know when you see these anchor texts here get free high quality hd wallpapers that's a spam anchor it has nothing to do with you outsourcing to india and uh similar for the domains and the tld so there are some tlds where you have spams uh spam links typically coming from yeah gq tk xyc those are domain extensions um that are almost exclusively used for spam um, spam sites just because they're free or, or really cheap like 30 cents a year so yeah but uh going back looking at the anchor text here then not this about once. Oh yeah, remember this one from the last side? Here we got the dot again. This th this is probably the next built-in spam filter that will build. If it equals dot, it's super likely that it's just spam. You know, when you look at all these links here, uh, 2,200, there are some low-risk ones. Okay, from the 3dlinks.com, where we could say we keep them. Uh, look at the link profile, the breakdown. Uh, not disavowed equals dot. Yeah. No. Life demos. So. Oh. Just thinking about strategies mm -hmm. for a domain like this. It's obviously B2B, um, business focused. And uh, I think a niche like this, there's a big opportunity for editorial outreach, thought leadership type work. There's so many, so many great business blogs out there that if um, if you can share, like here's here's all the niches right here, right? You can go into from you know uh yeah audio transcription through to software dev data science finance there's so many sites in each of these niches that you can use for mm -hmm. um for prospecting for link building load them up into pitch box and um, do some keyword research that are going to pull back the sort of sites that you want to post on hire some some really great writers who can write high level content that is going to get accepted by Mm -hmm. um, these high profile sites and yeah of course find that hook to link back to your uh, to your landing page uh, so yeah there's i'm just looking through the backlink profile here on another screen and i'm seeing yeah. yeah this there is a little bit of this work going on but it could be really scaled out considerably and i, I know it would work really well mm -hmm. uh, with a name mm -hmm. like this and where would you link to well, again, I would try and work in the landing page links where possible in editorial content. Um, but that's that's up to the writer to to create that, to do that eloquently, gracefully, and uh, it's not always possible. If not, then I would go down white papers, case studies, research routes on state of data security and um, uh, you know in, in the industry or, or data security predictions for 2021 or uh, mm -hmm. what businesses should be doing to uh, protect data in the GDPR era, you know, things like that. So, um, and then you'll be able to, to mention, mention that asset. And then from that asset, again, link back up through the landing page. So mm -hmm. that would work really well. It's a very simple tactic, but in these sort of niches, I think it's, mm -hmm. it's a good one. Uh, check this out. There are blog posts going back to 2005 here in blog.autos to India, which right. is impressive. Well, and only there's only 100 pages that actually generate traffic for this site. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So in the States anyway, which seems to be like, yeah, probably the target market. So yeah. maybe maybe a content cull uh, would be helpful there and auditing the the, the content, get, getting rid of any that isn't adding value to the site anymore. Um, yeah. Or if you increase the authority, they might actually start ranking for um, for for some of these terms. Yeah, but if you if you remove some of the pages that are um, not bringing in any traffic, you just spend uh, you just uh, uh, preserve the power, the link juice, the authority of all these pages, not splitting it up with those pages that don't rank anyways. And I'm just doing some checks here if. Uh, the content is potentially duplicated or scraped. Look <laughs> at that. Yeah, look at that. Share dot. Yeah. Yeah, that's just eating up. It's eating up resources and adding no value. Just be ignored, won't it, by by Google? So, uh, yeah, a big cull would be needed there. Obviously, if the page has got links, then you you might want to preserve that link authority. But yeah. Um, yeah, there's actually only, I'm just trying to have a look now. Yeah, most pages have got one or two links. Well, yeah, there's quite a lot that don't as well. So yeah, it's probably not adding any value. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would delete it personally outsource to india is it just me or are the fonts on this website really small like i have a really big screen and i can zoom all that but uh, it seems to me that some of them are really at the lower end like eight pixel or 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 even less what is this Mm, no it seems like Uh, 12 pixels yeah yeah okay. okay Hmm. and then again the um i would put a root page in for just looking at the url structure if you if you click on if you delete that sub page there christoph so you've just got the data management url yeah there's no page there oh there isn't on the call center one if you go Ah, so it's not consistent if you go to the call center one uh, so the, the first, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, I'm looking at a different root folder. Let me, let me check. Oh, um, data entry. Is that the one you are? Ah, yes. Yeah, sorry. You were looking, is there two subfolders? Yeah. Just go to, why am I seeing a different URL structure to you? <laughs> so I've got forward slash services forward slash data underscore management dot ASP. So, so that's some, some kind of an A-B test slash no. Yeah. So that's the page that, that I landed on. So you shouldn't really have gaps in the in the URL chain there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, there's an opportunity. Oh, by the way, you can share your screen as well with whatever you see if you want. Cool. Um, yeah. I'm just know. saying because we were just confused about that one. I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, are there all of these pages are describing services got their free quote call to action here and have links as well do they have links did you say yeah yeah uh, yes some quite a lot of the pages do mm-hmm. i'm just looking at yeah i i had some some crash here on my on my account Oh, here we go. Yeah, the links are mostly so that data management page, for example, it's got uh, it's got one of those uh, low grade press releases, prweb.com, uh, uh, with an exact match anchor on a really low authority page. And then the other links are some like Web 2.0s, um, blog spots and things like that, which are probably quite old. Yeah, 2016. So 
this data management page, there's so much editorial opportunity around data management that you could talk about and take your experts in-house from the uh, from the teams that provide these services, borrow a little bit of their time for the marketing team and get out there, get guest posting, uh, speak, to, speak to editors and to journalists and talk about things that business owners and um, your audience are going to be interested in hearing about when it comes to data management because if this is a key page this landing page data management uh, you want that to actually rank for some keywords so just a few guest post links through to uh, to a site like this on uh, to a page like this is going to make a big difference to its rankings at mm -hmm. the moment it ranks for well one key it's number seven in India for data management services mm -hmm. and it's position 29 in in the USA for data management services. So it does rank for this keyword, so it's got a shot. Um, yeah. It's a low low volume keyword, but um, all you need, just looking at the SERP competitors, you might only need a handful of outreach links to, mm -hmm. uh, well, Oracle are on page one, to be fair. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, there's so many landing pages on here. Uh, so, Lots of opportunity, just dropping a few links to each page and not relying on those low value press releases and mm -hmm. blog spots and things like that, which aren't, mm -hmm. aren't going to really move the needle anymore. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's uh, really helpful, Gareth. Um, I think. You know, we, we, we almost spent an hour already. So I want to take a look at the third site. If you have a, a, a favorite or if you want to pick one, otherwise we'll just use the randomizer. Okay. Um, let me have a look at the, the list. Whoever is faster. I'm starting up the randomizer. Yeah. List now selected. List randomizer. <laughs> okay, let's let's do random then. Let's, uh... Which one? The, the... Uh, no, uh, have you just plugged them in there? Have you? Yeah. Web uh, theme. Okay. Easier? Yeah. Go for it. Web IBM, stock photos, videos, music. Hmm. Web, Web IBM. of a collie so this is a website where i can buy licenses for for photos oh and ads oh it's still loading look at that <laughs> this took a while this took a okay. while so May want to check that out. Um, the psychology of pictures. What do you do here? I mean, this is a blog, and you have some links. Mm. Buy an ultra pick, safe. It's a new site. It's only been going for this year, this summer. Okay. So it's just starting out. It ranks for. 1100 keywords at the mm -hmm. moment mm -hmm. so back back to the basics and referring domains have you have you put it into lrt yet yeah wait uh here we go i'll just turn you know, the web ivm huh <laughs> here we go yeah, 55 source domains, 379 links, that's it. 51 anchor texts, sports detail, website automatic. Um, yeah, I'm seeing that, redirect. Uh -huh. Which redirect, you mean? So that website automatic.com redirects to web IVM. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 here we go. 
have set automatic. Okay. So in general, if you have a website that redirects to you and you have control over it, then you should also run an audit for it. Mm. That is audit. This is a website that has been your previous website with a couple thousand links or something. And you want to retain and preserve that link choose. And that's totally legit. However, if you have some spammy links on that website, uh, you want to clean that up mm -hmm. as well. So I recommend you at least to first initial but complete crawl of all the links. Wait, we want some, yeah, uh, hrefs included. And that shouldn't take too long. But just so you know, if you have a website and you use redirects to power it, which which is quite common, um, this is also a possible attack vector. So now I know that website automatic is a website redirecting to you. A, 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 a negative SEO pattern is that people send toxic links to those links, to those domains that redirect to you. And if you don't audit that, if you don't notice that, you may not find out at all you just drop in rankings and um will not will not find out so um detox risk keywords by detox risk sports detail wow look at that keyword sports detail what's that anyways sports detail what's that does it make sense to you no Food cartoons, Fox backgrounds, videos, tornado picture, they're all linked with uh, spammy links saying sports detail. Uh, weird. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, not really relevant for the... Um... <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, the sports search. Oh, be careful about these and, uh, you know, if it looks fishy it usually is so <laughs> just just disavow them you can always undisavow it later on mm. um but i would disavow them now and then look further into the keywords that we have here broken down by scope or by count um, um website automatic solid color background solid you know what's weird about the backlink profile is the web IVM has no there there are no links to web IBM I, IVM at all um using the brand name web IVM. So all of these links here are kind of weird. The other the website yeah. automatic, the, the the more at web IVM. Okay, five links. That's about it. Web IVM. Look at that. You need, you need to start building that brand first, that brand yeah. uh, name. Yeah that foundation of good anchor text to the homepage. Homepage branded is where we always start. And then and then even reach out to inner page branded anchors as well. Mm -hmm. And then to branded hybrid anchors. So brand name with coupled with a keyword um, or, or a term of some sort. So stock images from Web IVM, for example. Uh, mm -hmm. and then Hey, you keep safe. You, you, you stay safe. Then you're not going to trip any alarms, uh, yeah. inadvertently, and uh, make sure that we're surrounding the the link, dressing up the link with the content just before, just after the link with uh, with search terms. That informs the the context of the link as well, of course, and, and relevancy passes through that link. So um, there's no need to go with yeah exact match anchors, and a lot of this stuff just looks completely yeah. nonsensical to be yeah. honest Sorry. check this out solid color background solid color stock images um um what does it even mean a solid color stock image is that something search is that even a deliberate link it could just yeah. be yeah yeah it is it is really wow so all of these tactics that we're we're seeing here just you're just wasting your time um yeah. i i would the, I know we've we've got all of these these um, these tools like these auto link building tools, which is spin anchors and go and post to all these web 2.0s. There's it's short term gratification, and it's not even gratification really because it's, it's not it's not really going to help. I mean, it may not it may not hurt if it's done done well and it may add some diversity and some quantity to the backlink profile but 
they're not driving any power this site has really got no links no links of, of value and it's they're, they're, they might be helping to google like just index and embed these pages yeah. into the site yeah. But, um yeah we need to focus on some on some power and some good quality pages of where those links come from because this stuff is just not it's never going to rank yeah there's only five links with low risk and they have a low risk but they also don't have any power trust mm -hmm. like zero like here a little bit of power on these wallpaper side but that's about it yeah, so there's five links um yeah and yeah. so not surprising this is not um a successful backlink profile uh, something that i would wish for um when it comes to the site itself i wanted to mention before what is this page why am i here this cock Let's open some some screens for me let, let, let me start over here on the start page so here image vectors custom parking signs and i wondered right so i wondered what i'm doing here so this is a blog post with stock pictures of custom parking signs and then when you see okay and here get, here you got all the you know these are the samples where you have uh, the, the the watermark from shutterstock <laughs> and then when i click here i just end up on shutterstock to well to download what? free well with a free trial i can download it and but they have, I assume they have an affiliate program. Right, talking? right. So I think this is just an, a thin affiliate site, as Google yeah. called it. Yeah, look at that. The image link to Shutterstock, 7 ear.net and a couple more redirects. Wow. To ultimately just um, send me here. Now, the question from a, from a high-level marketing perspective is, what's the value that this page adds to the internet custom parking signs um looking for photos of custom parking signs yeah i am that's why i googled it so when you google custom parking signs wouldn't you expect to find the shutter socks site themselves and here are even websites specialized on signs okay i didn't know that and here you can buy a lot of uh, it looks like actual signs to put up on your house or on the street and not photos of photos of uh, street signs. Yeah. And if you just look at the actual affiliate, the vendors here, Shutterstock, yeah. and look at their pages for an understanding of what to do um, here yeah. in terms of UX uh, content, analyzing their backlinks. It's Unsplash, Getty. Yeah depositphotos.com all these sort of sites are ranking for yeah ah oh, you're you're in the search results now i don't see yeah, yeah. I'm, just looking, I'm just looking in the SERP. yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um but yeah we need to focus on content i know it's like yeah it's people might roll their eyes at oh you know great content but that's you need that first before you can go any further and you need good ux and um mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I admire the. the yeah, sorry, sorry to say that, but but why does this website here exist? You know, I'm 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 not sure that there's a justification for this website to exist on the web at all. If if all of these links go to Shutterstock and I can see the images from Shutterstock here with uh, what is this uh, 80 words of of generic text around it this is affiliate you know data feed affiliate marketing from 2003 we could spam and jam and fill up the index with trillions of pages and i did that myself with amazon content with poster content with t-shirt content with all that but this this website looks just like that and i guarantee you nobody's gonna look at page number eighty-five thousand four hundred ninety-two, yeah. especially not google yeah, that's what i was gonna say yeah because you got the same text here oh there's even more, 85,495. The same text on every page. Oh yeah, and this is this is the kicker. I clicked to the last page and there's not even images here. So something with your database queries is maybe broken. And all that's left is boilerplate text. 
add, 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 and some Facebook counters. And um, sorry to say, but I would not serve this on your website. Take that down and uh, yeah. focus your efforts on one great idea. Start with that. Take one element, one area. Instead of having all these pages with all these different images, you could have, you could have gone. Uh, yeah, you could just focus your efforts on one keyword group. Fantastic wall textures. There's so much you could talk about with walls. The history of walls, different mm -hmm. wall tactics, uh, tactics, uh, different wall techniques, and uh, yeah. um, make one site about uh, sorry one one really great page with one amazing piece of content make it a single single one page you know one landing page and then go and outreach that go and do something with that one page and uh instead of spreading so thin and uh, you might actually get some some good links hire a photographer to actually go and get some yeah. look for few words where the stock imagery demand isn't being fulfilled. And there is a huge amount. As you know, web content creators, I'm sure many people feel the same. You go out there and you see the same stock images everywhere. Yeah. There's sort of niches, very, very niche uh, topics as well. They they need stock imagery and they're searching for them and you get the same images. We see it across our clients if we're looking. So high yeah. commission a photographer to actually go and create some uh, yeah. bespoke photography yeah uh, and then yeah. Host, host something of value and then of course you can have your affiliate links and things in there yeah. But, uh, yeah i'm looking at this blog post here the ultimate guide to making cool music videos and i see a wall of text and i see a couple of headlines here and i see some links to the to some other websites that maybe talk about it but I think it's a little bit, um, you know, to, to grow, to, well, how to say that? This is not the ultimate guy to making cool music videos. I'm sorry. <laughs> on TikTok, you know, whatever I see on TikTok, 10, 10 videos, and I have a 15 second tutorial to make a, a really cool animation, you know, in, 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 in Photoshop or in, in, you know, all these modern video software tools. This article does not go for the ultimate guide to making cool music videos because even if i read this all from the top to the end i don't i don't learn from it i don't see examples i don't see patterns i don't see cool music videos what do you define as a cool music video i i don't i don't even see one here so um this is just generic content that is shown for all the seven two what for all the 7200 pages of photos that you embed from shutterstock or or uh yeah shutterstock again no this this page doesn't deserve to rank it, it doesn't add any value and the 7000 variations also not and even for money i wouldn't link there there is i'm i'm sure um gareth you will you will have uh uh or different experiences maybe so you know if the price is right if the price is high enough then maybe someone will always you know take a hard and link to a website but yeah this is not the ultimate guide and so linking to it is um it reflects on the person who links why would someone link there and if the story if the only reason why someone would link there is money then that link is considered unnatural mm -hmm. and uh, if that story doesn't match up if there's you cannot make up a story why someone would link to this then um, i'm sorry to say that then this link is not earned it's not natural and uh, yeah all your friends can link here but only because they're your friends and google has a lot of data about that and when we look at the content quality here um from my personal opinion, I'm sure when you will look at the stats for bounce rates and the time on site here, these are also some proxy metrics that tell us or tell Google something about the quality of the content. And that's uh, just not, just doesn't cut it. Yeah, it needs it needs some, some unique value that you're not going to find there out there on the web. And that's the problem with affiliate sites is it's, yeah. it's yeah. you're promoting other people other brands work so you have to have extremely good content 
Yeah. So like photographer level content, actually hiring a photographer or, yeah. or a videographer on Upwork to actually write a guide or record a video on creating cool music videos. Um, yes. Really expert led content and then use that for, um, you know, for, for link building or there's so many image link building tactics, especially around yeah. image credits that could be used. Uh, you could go out there and find blogs that are like that actually or content that's out there on the web that actually needs an image and yeah. have that image taken and given contributed to that blog and, and ask for a credit maybe or um, yeah. just think think outside the box. I don't know. I'm just thinking off the cuff here, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It needs it it needs to be better than what's out there already. <laughs> yeah, or, definitely. By the way, you did it again here with how to make music on your computer. Uh, an article that talks about music that doesn't have any tunes in there. I don't see any links to YouTube videos with a tune or these uh, these different music sites. Um, mm. MP3. Uh, a link to software Ableton software is not cutting it. Video editing. Uh, not sure why that one is in here. Make cool music videos. Skills like website automating. And here you're linking to your previous incarnation of the website. So obviously that whole thing was was uh, just moved over. But your internal links, when you change your URL structure, I would recommend you also run the search and replace on your content and replace all these links. If your own if your own website is linking to your previous own website, then that's weird. I mean, it was weird before when this was hosted on your website and you linked to yourself. Um, no. no, no, no. And to sum it up, the only reason I spend so much time on this website is because it's part of the site clinic. Um, it's not. It's not helping me to for, for the topics that we just looked at so i would encourage you as you as, as, as gareth also said just uh focus on one topic try to do one thing really cool like something that you love it could be music videos it could be music um uh, a music tune composing uh sequence sync but uh, why why ableton why not um, native instruments or why not you know cake cake is cake is a music program as well yeah. and, and all these other cakewalk and all these others um but one, and then just to add to, to, to this psychology of pictures, the San Francisco skyline, Carnival, Rio de Janeiro, 2020, these have nothing in common with each other. So why are they listed here? Um, this is, you know, too much of everything, a little bit of everything, but nothing really well, nothing really special, nothing really to dive in. And this is what I would, um, would suggest here to do. Yeah, to make this website interesting and the project interesting. And yes, or, or actually no, you can not, not list 85,000 um, affiliate pages from Shutterstock, but they are not, I guess if they're indexed, they're not ranking, but probably Google just doesn't index them at all. When we look at web IBM, yeah, see you got 994 results only indexed, all these pagination pages. Google sees that you're just copying stuff from Shutterstock. The times are over. And even in 2003, cloaking your affiliate links to Google IP is really black hat. So they don't see that you are actually just copying something else. I stopped working in 20, uh, uh, 24, 2004. So yeah, this is for the general, um, I guess, side. And because of that, building links to it is also hard. If there's no value on the site, there's no no link opportunity. Yeah. All right. It's so, not. Even, it's probably not even much point in disavowing. Well, not disavowing. Sorry. Yes, they absolutely should be. But in this case, because of the low volume of of links and things, mm -hmm. um, using LRT for this is, um, yeah, it's like it's overkill, right? We just yeah. Uh, it's overkill. Yeah. If you just go to Google Search Console, they probably give you these yeah. 58 links as well. And um, links are not your problem. The site is the problem. Yeah. Imagine the site would rank on number one. What do you do then? Send all the people via affiliate links to the actual Shutterstock site, thousands of them, and you earn tons of commissions on day one, day two, day three. And then Google knows that you're just thin affiliate that just sends people over within a couple of seconds. And then you tank. And then you lose all your rankings. So 
even if the if the fairy gives you a number one ranking for all your keywords for a day, um, you lose that really really quick because of that um, content issue. And so the times are long gone where you could have a site like that and just use link power to 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 rank it for anything. Mm -hmm. I've I've done that, and it's great, but um, it's not possible anymore. Whatever you read elsewhere, I'm sure you can find some old blog or some forum or maybe a Facebook group where someone says he's doing that. Um, no, not, not like that. Definitely. A data feed site is what we used to call it. Just a database full of links. All right. So, and with this, we're already 80 minutes here, uh, Gareth. Um, and we have three sites and I can't believe time passed so quick. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, with this, I just want to say thank you very much for for being on the site clinic. Maybe if you want to pitch your your um, your agency or your services, you can do that now. Sure. Yeah. So, um, well, firstly, Christoph, thank you so much for having me on the show. Um, as you know, I'm a big fan of LRT. We use it day in day out at Seeker uh, for you. quality control. Uh, simulating our link profiles for clients before we uh, before we we go out there and actually uh, place links, managing risk, protecting client sites, things like that. Uh, but all of that is the real like that's that's much further along in the timeline of um, of out of digital marketing of SEO. And uh, when you've got really complicated you know situations and, and scenarios, and I think what we've seen. You know, today with some of these sites is focus on the content, focus on the UX, focus yeah. on the technical aspects of the site, and then finally focus on uh, finally focus on links. Or I don't mean necessarily in that chronological order, but yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you have to have those preliminary elements in place, and that's what that's what Seeker does. We don't just build links; we create content that people actually want to link to, yeah. and uh, whether that's from digital PR through to outreach, through to uh, yeah detoxes and audits, internal link um, structures and things like that. So uh, yeah, content and links. Um, that's what Seeker does, mostly in uh, the tech and e-commerce spaces. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, I believe uh, well, uh, I'm speaking at LRTCon when that's uh, yeah finally gets to happen, and uh, really looking forward to that. So um, oh yeah. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to that as well. And I think, yeah, you said something important here. Uh, we saw live examples of websites that need the content to get mm -hmm. the links, how, how the content and the links go together. There's sometimes people say, oh, it's just the links. Oh, it's just the content. No. Naturally, when you have the great content, you can earn links or build links. But with that type of content, if the content is poor, there's no chance in these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thank you very much, Gareth, from Seeker. And uh, I just wanted to mention, I just clicked on our quick backlink checker where we now have the new Detox Risk Live feature. We don't have a full audit of the website automatic that redirects to it, but we see that the links going there are really poor. Now, there's one, two, three links that are okay that you can keep. And if you didn't audit that website automatic, the previous site, then do that and disavoid and clean it up just to be sure. All right, so that's that. Uh, thank you very much. Thank Have a nice day. Happy holidays and stay safe, stay home, stay healthy. Take care. Ciao. Bye-bye.